Hey everybody, it's me, Elena, and I will be showing you guys how to make a briar holder thingy. So it will fit, like, the wrong way. But it should look something, a little something like this when you get done. And you just, like, put it on, like, that, I think. Yeah, like that. And it looks sort of like that. So it looks kind of cool if you want to try this. Um... Okay, so to start, for things you're gonna need, um, you're gonna need, this was just lucky to be there. Um, don't do that, turn that off. No, that looks good. Turn, oh, turn that off. Thank you for listening. Okay, um, you're gonna need some scissors. Okay. Um, you're gonna need some jump rings. Jump rings. You're gonna need ribbon, and you're going to need adhesive ribbon. What's like tape? It's adhesive. Right there. Okay. So, to start, you're well, gonna want to measure the horse's head, and you're gonna need. The head. Can I show them this? No. Okay, you're gonna need to take out a jump ring, and you can buy like all these at like a fabric store. That's where I'm in. So, take a jump ring. Jump ring. And then you take the ribbon and, like, fold it in half if it's big. If it's bigger than the jump ring. And then um, put the jump ring on and then slide it down a little bit. Doesn't matter. Okay, so then this is kind of tricky, so I'm going to turn the horse. If she could get the, if my camera girl could get the horse. Okay, yeah, so is. what you do is you basically clamp it down, and then you keep tightening it until it's tight, but it's not completely loose, because if it's too loose, it'll fall right off. But you want to have it loose enough, so you can still take it off and on. So, now you have to mark it with tape, like, I forgot about this in the beginning, but you're going to need a permanent marker um, to mark where this goes. So, take your thumb and carefully remove it, and then just get a little bit of black on there. It doesn't have to be a whole lot, just make sure you get some black on there. Okay? So, next step is to move see the see that little black mark you want to move that jump ring to that black mark right there okay yeah. see that okay so then you're going to want to take your scissors and you're going to cut a good re a reasonable amount of ribbon i'm going to cut about that much so about that long. Might have did it a little too much, but that's okay because you can cut it off in the end. Okay, so now what you do is you put it around a horse's nose. And now what you're going to need to do is take this loose end and put it through the jump ring. If it might take me a few seconds or a minute. Okay, like I said before, if you need to fold it, you can fold it. That's what I'm going to try to do. I never said that before. Yes, I did. I think. Um, then I'm going to say that for the first time. Jada, don't screw with the camera. Crap, I just lost that. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I need to pull that through faster. Okay, so when you push it through, grab the other end of the ribbon like that and why do I keep losing it <laughs> okay I'm sorry <laughs> Mitzi oh there you are so then you pull it dang it why do I keep losing that okay so then you just pull it through yes like that it should look <laughs> sorry it should look a little something like that but it's a little too small for him. I know. 
Okay, so to make it bigger, <coughs> shut up, Raven. Shh. Okay. Raven. Daisy, sorry. Okay, so then pull it that out, and then you can pull that. <coughs> so remember to put it back on the horse. Now this is like way too big. So to tighten it, just take these two, and it's gonna fall off. So tighten it a little bit. Then try that on like this, and then. Pull it a little bit tighter, like that. So then it's gonna look a little bit like that. But what you have to do is then slip it off, and then take your yeah, your adhesive ribbon. What the heck? Okay, sorry about that. Great. I think it's Exit. 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 Sorry, I think we can go over there. Okay, I guess not. So, is the camera lady back in position? Yes, okay. So, take your adhesive ribbon. This is like green with pink polka dots, and then this is how it looks in the back. Okay, so then take your. Where did that go? Did that fall out? No, it's right here. Because I'm saying with the wrong stuff. Okay. So make sure like it's at the right spot right now. So you can just slip it on. Okay, good. So now take it and take it off carefully and then line it up like this. Okay, sort of. Line it up. Now take your scissors and cut a little bit of ribbon. Hold on people, sorry. Okay, let me go here and then exit and Don't exit. Don't say that. Sorry. Okay, back to this. Okay, now hopefully it doesn't go off again. Otherwise, that'd be. Um, okay, so you're going to need. That was my phone. You go. Shut up, phone. <laughs> you're gonna need um to peel off the white stuff so it looks like that in the back. It feels sticky, so don't touch it. Otherwise, you're gonna take away the stick. Okay, so when you line it up, make sure it's actually lined up. Okay, so then you take it and stick it on the back. And then what you do is, camera lady, get a good view, get a view. Like, pick it up and like bend it down. Yeah, there you go. And then fold it over, and then just push, and then flip it over to this side, and pick it up, and push that down. And then if there's a little bit, that's okay. So, and then with the rest, you can just cut it off, I guess. Okay, so, now what you have to do, the rest of this, will kind of have to take part on the horse. So... Next part is pull up, over, and around. Okay, can you get this side? Okay, so it's gonna, well, it's gonna look kind of like that. Now Regal falls over a lot. So if he falls over, sorry, Ow. move your foot, thank you. Okay, so you're gonna need another jump ring. So this whole project really only takes two jump rings. So take another jump ring, like that. And I've just a middle, some. It's a metal circle. Yeah, it's a little circle. Okay, so then what you have to do is get the jump ring on the ribbon if it will fold. And there we go. So then when you get the ribbon through, if I can. Yeah, got it. Okay. So then when you get the ribbon through, just keep moving it until you get it up like by his ears or by his head or whatever so now you're gonna have to carefully slip that off as you can see and then poke whoop poke this through mm. and then slip the nose piece back on and then pull it tight but not too tight so you can't slip it off so then the next part or step is move the camera Okay, um, the next real step is to fold up 
the ribbon. Oh, I don't think it's right by its ear. Yeah. So, I'm going to pull this out a little bit. And then I'm going to try and get my ribbon to work. Okay. So, then carefully and quickly try to get the ribbon through before it unfolds, I guess. Okay. I got it, I think. Yep, I got it. So, then you're going to pull it tight. Like, this is, like, way too loose. Um, try to line it up if you can. And then just tighten it. I can't see the space. Tighten it like that. Just pull down. And then make sure you still have it loose enough, though, so you can take it off and on. So, then you have your little hook. Mm -hmm. This, it, and then with this, I recommend cutting some of it just so you or you can leave it on like if you want it to be like the rope yeah yeah you can just let it hang i guess and like if you that. have a doll big enough you can just like it looks kind of like that when you have the lead rope but i'm gonna make this a real halter like the other one i showed you so i'm gonna cut about that okay so now you're gonna need a little bit more of this ribbon whatever tape. Adhesive? ribbon tape i'm gonna call it ribbon tape and then cut some of that and then fold it up, undo the, take off the white stuff, and then pull that out a little bit, mm -hmm. put the tape on the back one, fold that over, and then take this and fold it, oh, fold that over, and then fold that. If you have a little X back. And then there. So that's how the halter will look. And I will turn it so you can see the side. And you can make and little necklaces for them if you have little charms. If and Jada can lift the camera up a little bit. There you go. That's kind of what it looks like. And then this is what it looks like head forward. So, and then this is a little charm thing. So I hope you guys try this. Um, I think you'll like it, and if you want to add a lead rope, just go in between here and put. Oh, I'll see if I can show you guys. Put it right in between here and just tie it or use the tape, whatever. So, um, bye for now. And I hey, hope you guys, me try this. Girl? Yeah, you can see the camera. Though. So that's what she looks like. So. Probably be in some of my videos. Um, so bye.